I mean, it's legislation. I would law say is law. I'd say law is different than from legislation. The law is what we know internally to be right, and legislation sometimes conflicts with that. Like, what about fugitive, fugitive slave acts? Would you have enforced those? That's the difference between legislation and the law. So here in New Orleans, Louisiana, the ninth and final stop of the police accountability tour. A lot of us are familiar with Rosa Parks, who refused to give up her seat on the bus. That was a, a catalyst for the civil rights movement. But here on the spot, uh, the corner of Royal and Press in New Orleans, uh, an incident happened back in 1892 involving Homer Plessy. He had purchased a first class ticket to ride the train. He was asked by a uh, detective on the train to move seats because he was seated in a whites only car and Plessy was one eighth African American. He was removed from the train. He was told he had to pay a $25 ransom. It was a test case for the separate car act, some text on paper, some people in Louisiana who claimed to control others put on paper in 1890. There was a constitutional challenge made through the court system to claim that that was a violation of the Equal Protection Clause, the newly enacted 14th Amendment. Plus he was ruled against locally, he was ruled against in the uh, Louisiana Supreme Court, and uh, in four years later, in 1896, it went to the U.S. Supreme Court where he was again ruled against, and that pretty much established the doctrine of separate but equal that reigned uh, through the states uh, legally for the next six decades until Brown versus Board of Education. Kicking people off of a train car for having a different skin pigmentation or something of that sort is petty, stupid, and not something we would accept today. But unfortunately, just a few years ago, that such thing was accepted. It really shows the uh, arbitrariness of this legalese. So challenging those ideas when they come across, you know, trying to be on the cutting edge of what's right and wrong is an important thing for us all to strive for. The Plessy case goes to show the extent to which the Constitution or words written down on paper aren't the things that protect people's rights. The Constitution's pretty complex, it uses old language, many people don't understand most of it, but most people can understand that you treat others the way you'd want to be treated. We need to look to our each other and ourselves and not to some text to know what's right and wrong. I would encourage people to read different things like The Constitution of No Authority by Lysander Spooner, who was written in the 1860s prior to this case, and it outlined how this idea that a bunch of other people entered into a contract previously should not be a ruling force on the lives of people who never entered into that agreement, never signed that agreement. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be an officer back then at that time. If it was, I would enforce it, though. You would enforce it? Absolutely. If you would enforce the segregation law. I don't make the laws, I just enforce them, sir. Would you arrest somebody for something you don't agree with? Yes. You would? Yes. Why? Because it was law, it's my job, that's what they pay me to do. Yeah. Whatever the, the, the details of that job is, that's what we have to perform. No questions asked. No questions asked. Your job is based off of force. 